Welcome to Archway Gallery. Thanks for coming. My name is John Slavey. I'm the director of the gallery, one of the 30 members of this artist owned cooperative. And uh, I've known Kay now for about six years. She joined the gallery in 2005. And uh, she's our curator now. She's been our curator for several years. And she's one of those people that's really instrumental to the running of this space. And I really honor and respect everything that she's done for this gallery. When we first moved here, she was like the unbelievable. I'm really drawn to Kay's work. It's very unique, and what I what I really love about it is is what motivates her to paint uh, and what motivates her art. Uh, I like to think of myself as a, as an idea driven, motivated artist, and I, I paint because I have something I want to communicate. And, and Kay, I think, does exactly the same thing with her unique images. And and her main work is about spirituality. And she's going to tell you a lot more about that. But that, for me, is what draws me to this work. And that makes it high art for me, because it's, wow. it's about ideas and motivation. And, and it's deep spirituality I find very attractive. So enough about me and, and what I want to say. I think it's time for Kay to talk about her work. So thank you. Yay, Kay! Yay. 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 I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm totally fascinated <clears throat> with the energy that surrounds us, actually, in all living and non-living things. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like, well, quantum physics has, has really proven that uh, between molecules there's really no space, or between two people across the room, it's uh, energy that's between us, and so we're really connected. And thinking about that and my, my involvement and sort of almost obsession with Native American people, particularly south of the border, I, um, their, their whole take on this um, is it's a very sacred relationship with spirit of, of things that, that's <coughs> practiced in daily life. and. Uh, I felt that <clears throat> that this was something I I was also looking for for my own personal uh, self this, this longing to be in that state of being to really appreciate that and when you think about it if you if you feel that connection it's a lot easier for you to have uh, care for uh, preserving uh, nature. Um, and there's a huge uh, connection there when you think about where we are today in our world and how it's so easy, and I get caught up in it too, this, this fast, high pace media, <clears throat> smartphone lifestyle we live. <clears throat> and it's hard to remember that, you know, there's this earth that we're walking on and, and the sky and all of this incredible energy around us. So I felt the urge to sort of honor that connection. And uh, it's interesting because I've always loved painting with oils on wood, and uh, it's my first love. But I thought, you know, I want to incorporate something else. And the wire was a perfect media. It sort of lends to an ethereal quality, I think, um, that see through of it, you know, the way you can. Uh, the shadowing of it, it's, it sort of encompasses, in my way of thinking, the human spirit, for instance. Um, so I, I had fun, you know, combining these two media and uh, felt uh, completely excited about the collaboration of the two. And so I'm so happy you're here. I, you know, if, does anyone have questions, perhaps, that might want to... Oil on wood is your first love. <clears throat> it is. And wire is your second love or most recent? Well, uh, it's, it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a, a recent new media for me. I mean, I'd say earlier this year is when I started taking it on more seriously and, and I'm combining it with paintings. Um, I kind of had a few projects previous to that that were wire projects and uh, sort of developed <coughs> into you know, incorporating it with what I do. And that's 
what, this, how this whole idea came about to do this series was when I started working with The Wire, I felt that this was a great way to, to uh, uh, talk to the subject of uh, spirit. And, uh, I can feel your energy. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, so. baby. It's here. It's in this room. So, uh, Thank you again for coming. Um, please keep enjoying uh, the gallery. Of course, there's all kinds of new art back here. We change it out every month, so enjoy, enjoy visiting. And if you have questions, please come up to me and and ask. Don't hesitate. Just grab me. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm kind of curious. How long did it take you to do something like that? Oh, uh, did you know, use a form to make it? It, it? it took me way longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, it's, uh, you know, this, I mean, I, I hadn't worked big until I started working on this project. This was the first big one. Um, most of them were smaller, so, you know, I could sort of gather how that would take. But this was an interesting thing because I had to sort of do, do it in pieces and parts and then sort of place them together. And it was almost like sewing, you know, taking the wire through a bigger piece of wire and then pulling it out. And, and the other realization was, you know, how that affects your hands. And, and uh, for a while I just did it barehanded and I had so many cuts and I mean, it was like just crazy. I looked like a slasher. <laughs> You know, the way partner said, you know, you need mechanics gloves. And I'm like, what are those? Because I, I don't like the idea of a fat glove on your hand. You know, it's like, I can't make little. But those were great. They fit really well. But they did wear very fast on the ends because, you know, you're pushing the wire and it just cuts through the leather. Wow. Yeah. So you just start with a bomb wire? Or uh, well, I kind of like five gauges in most of these pieces, different, uh, you know, gauges. So I would start with a heavy gauge and just make a cage, more or less. And then if I had something to put inside, I would, you know, I'd make that, like this with the heart. And then I would just take smaller gauges and, and sort of start to form the, the body. And, you know, and it just developed from there. So the, the tree branch was a lot of fun because it was a little bit, uh, I, I had to, I took a piece of plate metal and painted out the leaves and then cut them out and then made drilled holes and then wired them on and there are so many leaves <laughs> It makes me respect what a tree does. <laughs> and I, I have such a reverence for trees. I, I have a dear friend that said, uh, if you're feeling kind of you know, nervous and a little crazy. You know, just lean up against a tree and close your eyes. And I'm thinking, you know, I know I think I'm a tree hugger, but okay. And I, <laughs> you are. I'm a tree. <laughs> I can feel that energy just calming me down. I just think, yeah, you can. And that's why the, the, the female is generally closing her eyes because it's about that uh, feeling the energy around you. Feeling what's there, this thing you're thinking of. This one I, I put at a suggestion of one of my very creative friends. I put the form in an embryo position, a human being, and it's about, you know, um, imagining what it is to be this, this incredible creature and becoming it. And that's part of the feeling of the spirit of this thing or the essence of this thing. So I had a lot of fun with it. Okay. Tell, tell them about the video that Donna did. Which one? The, the video of the egret. There is a video oh, Donna, of yeah, Donna did a, a video of me in my studio. I uh, was moving it, you know, the wings move when you, it's, uh, you know, it's very uh, light weight. So that was, that was a fun project. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's on the website. It is on the Archway website. Gallery website, the actual yes. video. Don't look at my, uh, you know, just, <laughs> it's <really> slender. <laughs> hey, is the black wire um, vinyl co cover wire? No, no, it's not. It's This is a annealed steel wire. It's been coated with a, I don't want to 